What's up, what's up, what's up? Welcome to the stream. All right, all right, all right. Let's get right into the game. All right, first and foremost, there is something we can do basically immediately right off the bat. First, let's go to the Lost Woods. Well, why are you going to the Lost Woods? That doesn't lead to Jabu Jabu. <clears throat> are you gonna, like, glitch down the river? <laughs> no, 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 no. I have something else in mind. I have something else that's a little bit different in mind. Oh, wait, I should probably go back to Kakariko as well. Mm. I went ahead and did Bonchu Bowling, so we don't need to worry about doing that. I should probably head back to Kakariko because I do know of a glitch we can do. That is kind of a little bit of a visual bug. Alright, now underneath one of these, one of the boulders that's inside, that's deeper inside this place. I remember it's one of the boulders. I think it's the one near the four. Yeah, it's the one closer to the entrance of the four. Entrance to the sacred meadow. Basically, there's something over here we can grab now that we have bombs. Also, I did switch to the co I did switch to the wooden shield. I surrender. To make your quest easier, I can enable you to pick up more deco nuts, but it'll cost you 40 rupees. Sure, I will take the 40 rupees. I will take the I will take I will take I will take a Deku stick Deku nut upgrade. Nut. Nut is a funny word, yeah. I can I I still think that nut is a funny word. Very funny. Nut. 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 <laughs> Yeah, I picked up more Deku nuts from, you know, uh, from un from under the boulder in, you know, near the Sacred Meadow. That's basically what happened if you couldn't see it with the um, ads going on. That That's basically what happens. All right, now. All right, now I will put, I will make a couple of pit stops before I go to, you know, the Zorus River. All right, first and foremost, I need to go, I need to go towards Lake Hylia. And basically, I know a way to basically make it a little bit easier. I'm gonna put on my bunny hood. It's not gonna make me actually faster like it does in Majora's Mask, unfortunately. But it does have a nice. It does have another feature. It prevents all children from spawning, so they're not gonna be able to harass me at all. So we're not gonna be harassed by any soul children. Although, do I want to be harassed by soul children? I can probably beat them. I can beat them very easily and, you know, get a few more rupees. And I know I need rupees for what's ahead. Mm. Oh well. Well, I can probably just stop by, you know, Hyrule Castle Market and, you know, pick up a few more rupees. As you can see, the bunny hood, you know, prevents, you know, salt children from spawning. Which is pretty nice. Not gonna lie, doesn't I don't have to worry about them. Alright, since I have the biggest bomb bag because I did do bomb tree bullying behind the scenes. I mean, it's on YouTube anyway. Well, I say that and it's actually on YouTube. Oh wait, I will go down this hole real quick. Yeah, mainly I'm just going down this hole just to grab like five or just to grab like five rupees. Although, I am told that, I am told that you're... I am told the beehives don't really have bees in them, do they? Yeah, I know there's no such thing as bee- I know that the bees didn't become a thing until Majora's Mask. But if I hit this beehive... Wait, that doesn't- that didn't work? Okay, never mind, it doesn't work. I guess I need strong- I need a stronger weapon or something, I don't know. I oh, know. Oops, I forgot that I forgot to put on my bunny hood. No, I do not want to hear what you said at the beginning now. Yeah, you're owl. Nobody likes you. Well, I mean you are the stage of light, so I guess some people do like you. Alright, maybe we can get a couple rupees off these guys. Oh, maybe I might as well refill on seeds. Alright now. Right now what I'm gonna do. Right now, what I need are some bombs, and basically there's a secret hole somewhere around in this area. 
Yeah, without the Stone of Agony, you probably weren't going to know where it is. <clears throat> yeah, but thankful thankfully I know where it is. Thankfully I had a guidebook that basically told me where it was. Alright, you win in return for sparing me. I will sew you a piece of heart. One piece, ten rupees, that it, it is it is. Oh actually that's quite a big that's quite a big deal compared to, you know, what a one in Majora's mask that you get from, you know, a deck a deck a business scrub. Yeah, that one you kind of have to kind of have to turn down the initial offer, so it will become a little bit cheaper. And you also have to have out. Also, you might want to have the adult wallet before getting it. Oh, whoops, forgot about forgot about the bunny hood again. Yep, the bunny hood just keeps away the soul fit, so soul children, so I don't have to deal with them. Of course, now that it's daytime, I have to deal with some pea hats that are gonna come after me. Oh wait, there is one more thing we can do. There is one more thing we can do, just bear with me for a minute. Alright, first off, where's my bugs? I will be getting my bugs out. The reason I'm getting my bugs is because, um... Wait, do I want to do this right now? Yeah, what the heck, I'll do it right now, just... Alright, how many, how many Sculptulas are we away from? Yeah, we have like 24 Sculptulas, so... I might as well, you know, hunt some down now. I might as well, like, don't intend to actually... Hey, Murder Carps, what's up? Might as well, like, don't intend to use the Bean Sprout patch in, you know, the Rudo Valley, because that one just leads to rupees. And I know there's a Sculptula buried under there. So I'm gonna go get those two Sculptulas that I'm missing. Yeah, there's one in, there's one in both of those, both of the pits. Yeah, there's one in Lake Hylia and Rudo Valley. That I can get right now. All right, now evil skeleton in the house also a knees a fluffy look. No, no, no! I'm not cute. I'm not a cutie. You guys are the cuties. You guys are the ones who are cute. And I know Phone Swordsman is a skeleton and he's like a death merchant, but that doesn't that does uh, but that doesn't make him less cute. <laughs> After all, I've seen I've seen human I've seen humans in their love of skeletons. Mm, they must they must think that they must think they're all they must think they're awful special. Besides, they're also, they're also very, very, very heavily featured in, you know, Halloween Town. And Halloween Town is a very nice place, yes. I, I've been there myself, yes. <laughs> yes, I don't love humans. Ah, well. Ah, well, that, that's unfortunate. That's probably related to how you died, maybe. <laughs> I ain't nothing more to my customers. I mean, why do you, why do you hate your customers, though? They, they're the ones that pay, they're the ones that pay your bills. <laughs> Of course, some um, humans are also the reason why you have bills, right? <laughs> yeah, you probably don't like them for that reason. <laughs> Which, uh, personally, I can't blame you. <laughs> Nobody likes the idea of paying bills. <laughs> hmm. Alright, now. Alright, let's get those bugs inside. Alright, now. Alright, now, bugs get in the hole. Alright, now, I'm gonna do a little, little bit of a trick. Alright, you're gonna lurk, Pathogen. Thank you. Have uh, blessed lurk on the dark side of the moon. Right now, and we will do a crouch stab with the power of, you know, a jump attack. Mm. Mostly because, like a dragon, I need infinite money. <laughs> ah, well. Yakuza, like a dragon, infinite wealth. I assume you're probably like that game, don't you? <laughs> hmm. I have to get infinite wealth at some point. I'm told it's not quite as good as um like a drag as like as like a dragon one. <sighs> that is to say, there were pro that is to say that around the same time there were other games that came out that were kind of a little bit better. But you know, like a dragon was pretty good, yeah. <laughs> Although one of the screenshots I seen from you know Infinite Wealth was kind of cool because it looks like you're fighting a shark, <laughs> and sh fighting a giant shark is pretty awesome. <laughs> I mean, why wouldn't anybody? Why wouldn't anybody like to fight a giant shark by punching him in the face a bunch? <laughs> That's sort of like it, although, although then again, uh, then again, there is this one game where you fight robot dinosaurs and yeah. Wait, was there a game that where you fought robot dinosaurs and some for some reason nobody likes that game for some reason? Why does nobody like? Why does nobody like Horizon, Horizon Forbidden West again? Mm. I understand. Mm. Now, right, I pro yeah, it came around. 
Right, that's because Verizon Hidden West came out around the same time as, um, uh, as Elden Ring, didn't it? <laughs> mm. I am told if you, I am told you can do a good spin, you do a spin attack if you, you know, do, do a spin real fast with the, with the, with the intro, with the joystick. I'm looking at giant swords made of fight, giant sawfish bones and stuff. I mean, you have some cool weapons for sale. Not gonna lie. All right, now I've gotten it. I've gotten it to. Um, I've gotten it. I've gotten it to. I've gotten it to pa do two areas of ground here <laughs> and taken care of. All right, I don't think I actually need the bugs anymore. <clears throat> at least not for the rest of the child campaign, and at least not for the child campaign at this point in the game. Oh. <clears throat> Let's see, I got the ones in Lost... I got the two in Lost Woods, and I got the one in Kokori Forest. And I got these two, and I got the one in Death Mountain. I got the one in Death Mountain, right? And I also got the one in the graveyard. I'm looking at... I'm looking at boobies. <laughs> well, uh, once I get... Once my new model is finalized, uh, and I figure out how to actually get it working, I will, uh, show... I will show you guys the wonders of, you know, the end of new model. Hmm... <laughs> Also, I am told that bad at video games, you know, sometimes uses them to get alternate outfits, so maybe I could do that in the future sometime. That'd be another thing I could possibly spend money on. <laughs> maybe. I mean, I could do it too, yeah. Alright, now rolling around at the speed of sound. Oh, I should put on my bunny hood. Let's see, I got the one in Death Mountain and in the graveyard, and I got the... I got the one in Kokori Forest and the two in, you know, the Lost Woods, and I got the one in Brutal Valley and Lake Hylia. I don't really count the one in Zora's River. I don't count the one in Zora's River because that one does not have a sculpture in it, and it's the only one that doesn't. Alright, there is a reason I wanted to come... Alright, the reason I wanted to come here was simply to get the 20 rupees. So I get top off my money. I know it's probably unnecessary. Yeah, you can get just get twenty rupees if you want if you and if you wait for nightfall when the bridge goes up, hey you can get you can get like sixty rupees pretty easily. Yeah, I don't think I'll be needing the bugs anytime soon. I probably won't be needing any more bugs in for the rest of the child campaign. I know the one in Zora's River doesn't have, you know, doesn't have a sculpture. For some reason. Probably because the magic bean salesman, you know, took care of it. <laughs> Alright, now. Mm. I apologize for being in PNG mode. There's just something that kind of came up that kind of became an issue. Yeah, apparently Maria got kind of exposed for kind of scamming people. Yeah, which is unfortunate, so I'm thinking I'm not using your model anymore. That's kind of one of the reasons I wanted to do the redesign. Although it is the major reason. I'm not sure what happened with her. I love making swords and hate parting with them. I found I found the best mental stands for selling them. If you actually want to sell them, you'll never get enough for it. Oh well. Oh well. Well, people. Well, people are. Well, as long as. Well, as long as there's as long as there's conflict, there's always going to be people who want to buy them. Of course, I wish, I wish that you weren't necessarily, you know, a war profiteer or anything like that. <laughs> Specifically, us artists. Alright, yeah. Yeah, you, ha you have some pretty cool swords. Look, you have some pretty cool swords. Uh-oh. Ow, ah, whoa, 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 I'm kind of getting carried away. Alright, I am getting carried away a little bit. And it's not acceptable behavior. It happens when starving. Alright, now... Right now, I'm going to show you something that's kind of interesting about this sculpture line in particular. See, there doesn't seem to be a climbable wall here, but there actually is. You know, what you what you don't see is there's a there's a there's a climbable wall here, but it's actually not rendered proper, but it's not actually visible. Yeah, in the D, in the 3DS version, they actually fixed that issue. <laughs> Yeah, I only recently learned about it. I only recently learned about that issue. 
I only recently learned about that little trick. Yeah, it doesn't really make a lot of sense to me either. They did fix it in you. They did fix it in you know the 3DS version, so it seems like it was always intended to to be like that. And thank you. I have never done anything unless I sold things. Not taking me days to make for thirty dollars. Oh. Mm. Well, that that well you do have to. Well, you do have to part with stuff every now and again. And of course, it is a business. All right, now let's roll. Mm. All right, I have taken care of basically everything. All right, is it still nighttime? Yeah, the nighttime music is still going. Yeah, there's Gorg under there, and he's going to go into the woods later with a sharp blade. And when I hear people doing stuff like that, I'm I'm worried about I'm worried what about the headspace they're in. Oh. Yeah. All right, now the now the skeletons are going away. Aren't you glad I don't have to? Aren't you glad I don't really have to fight too many soul children now that I have the bunny hood? Yeah, because they won't spawn if I'm wearing it. Of course, I really don't need it in the daytime. All right, now let's go over to. All right, by the way, I actually did do a little shopping in the old Hyrule Castle Town to get some bomb chews, and also I did clear bomb chew bullying, so we got the bigger bomb. So I got the biggest bomb bag. Oh wow. Oh wow, I got like I got like a whole bunch of heart pieces. Oh wow, I'm pretty much almost full on heart pieces. There is one more I I know that there's like two in Zora's River I can get. I know there's one in Zora's Domain I can get. Oh yeah, there's also one more I can get that, you know, is kind of I'm not supposed to get it right now. I'm not supposed to be able to get it. But I can, you know, using the boomerang, of course. Yes, I know about the Zoras and how they um, how they protected the river for, you know, the royal family. Also, by the way, this is basically the first Zelda game where they had the sea Zoras and the river Zoras. Even though um, Zora's river is basically called Zora's river <laughs> in Ocarina of Time. So maybe they have convergent evolutions and different timelines. Wherever, hold, wherever, you know, wherever, yeah. Alright now, right now I'm going to kill it with a crouch stab. And you see the reason I'm able to defeat in one hit is because if I do a jump attack like that and then do its crouch stab, I keep the power from, you know, the jump attack because, you know, the crouch stab keeps the power of your last the last jump you use. And since the jump attack is double the power, it deals double the damage, which means I can take them out in one hit rather than two. If that makes any sense. All right, now we need like eight, we need like um at least we need at least you know eight magic beans. How about it? Ten rupees for one piece. Yeah, and this dude keeps increasing the price. I oh, guess in Breath of the Wild, the Zor rivers are evolved into Rido, and the Ocean Zora came in and moved to the old rivers or stuff and replaced them. Oh uh, what? What the Rido evolved? The, the rivers or evolved into Rido? Yo, I was wondering where the riddle came from, because it seemed like they evolved from... I already knew they evolved from, you know, Zora's. Because of, you know, when, because of Wind Waker, but I didn't know it was specifically River Zora's. <laughs> so where's the riddle saying, you know, Ocarina of Time? <laughs> oh no. Mm. Right, here, I would like to see more uh, more um, classic Zelda enemies come back, yeah. I mean, it feels like it's been forever since I've seen things like Iron Knuckles and Dark and Dark Nuts, or, e or even or even some of the more classic enemies from way back in the day. <laughs> yeah, remember Windmaker? They basically evolved because Saltwater Burns <laughs> River <for> Oh, <laughs> what? Oh yeah, that, that that seems like it'd be quite the issue for them. <laughs> there you go. Chomp, chomp, chomp. How about some magic beans? They're all the rage. 40 rupees for one piece! Yeah, and this dude keeps increasing the price by 10 rupees for each one I buy. You know, that's capitalism for you. <laughs> yeah, he's engaging in a little capitalism. <laughs> yeah, he's kind of ripping me off. Sort of like, he's kind of ripping me off because he has a supply and I demand it. It's sort of like, it's sort of like capitalism, dude. 
<laughs> Alright now. And I basically I I be alright now. I only basically need like three more, unfortunately, they're the most expensive. Alright, huge barf. <laughs> Japanese logic. Fish can swim in water can't swim in water anymore. Swim in the air might be covered. I mean, yep. I mean that is basically that is the that is how riddles that is how riddles you know do things. That's how the riddle pe that's how the mafia works apparently. All right now we need to grab ourselves a chicken. We need to grab ourselves a we need to grab ourselves one of the cuckoos because there's cuckoo shenanigans in this area that require that will be required to get some heart pieces. Also watch out for octa rocks they like to spit rocks at you obviously. All right, we see where one of the. All right, now we see where one of the heart pieces is. Unfortunately, we need to fly. We need to get over there using a cuckoo. Mm. Alternatively, we could just get him with the boomerang. Alternatively, we can just get him with the boomerang, but you know. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. don't don't spin around. Sometimes the camera just does what it wants to do. Sometimes the camera does exactly what you don't want it to do. Yeah, it's a curse of, you know, playing on an N64. The camera, the 3D, uh, the 3D aspects weren't quite perfected quite yet. <laughs> so they have a, sometimes some issues. All right, now let's grab this cucko. And then let's make our way. Alright, I wish the camera would pan. I wish the camera was a. Alright, now steady now. This is kind of a. One of those thin N64 walkways. No, 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 I'm not soon, Ray. Not soon, not cute. Not soon, not cute. That is fake news and hi, honey. Hi, honey, but I'm not soon. I'm not soon, Rain. I'm not cute. I'm not soon. Not cute. That is like that is a bunch of uh, like misinformation, and uh, that's like uh, spread by my uh, detractors, dude. Yeah, it's spread by it's spread by dirty trolls. <sighs> it's spread by my detractors, dude. <laughs> it's spread by detractors. <laughs> imagine imagine being an endemody detractor. <laughs> and did you pick, did you wake up? Did you pick? Did you see the picture in me of Indy I found? <sighs> it's so cute and small. It's it's small and cute as no. I'm not small and I'm not cute and I'm fluffy. Make fluffy maybe, but I'm not small and I'm not cute. Not small, not cute. That's fake news. That's fake news. Fake news. <laughs> don't believe don't believe the supervillain propaganda. <laughs> Don't believe the supervillain propaganda. It's fake news. Fake news. Fake news. Fake news. It's fake news. It's fake news. Don't believe the supervillain propaganda. It's fake news. Fake news. Fake news. <laughs> I'm only kidding about that. I am only I am only kidding about that. Fake news. <laughs> Fake news. Get out of here, Octa Rock. Get out of here, you rock spitting octopus thing. You don't even look like a proper Octa Rock because you're not because you're on land. <laughs> Imagine, yeah. But again, why are Octa why are Octa Rocks you know octopuses and they li and they live on land, except when they don't. <laughs> Man, you know the river, and you know the river Octa rocks look a little different than the other Octa rocks. <laughs> All right now. All right now. All right now. I need to throw the chicken. All right, I am taking. I am taking the chicken with me. All right, come on, come on, come on, Mr. Rooster. We have we have picked a journey to go on. The ri the river octopuses which don't exist. Yeah, that is true. River octopuses don't exist. There's no such thing as river octopuses. 
The game is definitely lying to you, dude. The game's lying to you and it's spreading fake information. There's no such thing as octopuses in the river. <laughs> well, except maybe Octoroks. But you know, Octoroks are, you know, very hostile. Yeah, they're they're a soldier of, you know, Ganondorf. I assume they're an octopus that, you know, Ganondorf corrupted with the powers of darkness. You know, that fun stuff that, you know, that fun stuff that, you know, anything, that anything, you know, in video games gets corrupted by to become a villain. You know, the powers of darkness. <laughs> and the powers of dorkness. <laughs> yeah, Ganondorf. <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's, it's the power, it's the power of the, it's the evil power of the power of, of the Triforce of Power that does it. <laughs> yeah, it's Ganon's influence, dude. <laughs> it's the malice or gloom or whatever. Or whatever's gonna be in the third game. Yeah, there we go, got it. Gold Sculpture defeated. In D and D, we have a land shark. It's one one as a pet. I had one as a pet once. Wonderful animal. Oh, land sharks sound so cute. Sort of, sort of like all of you guys. <laughs> they sound cute. Sort of like all of you guys. You, yes, you. You're all cute. You, yes, you, all of you, you are cute. Not me, though. I'm not cute, no. I would never be cute. I would never be cute. And anyone saying I'm cute is, you know, spreading fake news. Mm. They're spreading misinformation and fake news. Oh no, they're spreading in misinformation and fake news. Get out of here, Owl. I don't want to see you. Land shark like Garchomp? Yeah, like Garchomp. Garchomp is a, you know, a great land shark. Yeah, we got the, t we got the two, you know, um, heart pieces, heart pieces, but, um, I'm kind of missing, you know, I kind of want to get, get those, you know, I'm kind of wanting to get those, um, those magic beans. Which means we're probably going to have to swim down the river again and listen to the Owl another time. Ow, why are you respawning? Go back, go away. Why are you respawning? Alright now. Ooh, bombs. I want bombs. I want bomb I want it I want high explosives. After after all, superheroes and high explosives definitely mix. I know because you know a former member of Dreams, you know, used to used to best specialize in high explosives. You know, before they, you know, started using them against civilians that were, you know, more or less critical. Probably because they that were more or less critical of us. Even if it wasn't necessarily for the right re even though they were no not necessarily, you know, against us for the right reasons, um I could kind of understand their concerns a little. Because superhero and supervillain battles are very dangerous and you know cause do cause a lot of collateral damage. I mean we try to keep ma casualties at a minimum. And I am very good at white magic to the point where I can restore objects that are broken and, you know, raise dead. <laughs> Kinda difficult to do it in mass, though. Alright, now we need to play a couple songs for these frogs so we can get some rupees. Luckily, we just need a... Like, and we get like 50 rupees for each one. All right, now let's do the sun song. It will change the time of day, but we don't really care about that. It's not like there are special events that happen out here aside from sculptures at night. I don't think there's any out right now that we can get anyway. All right, now. At least not without the boomerang. All right, now, and let's get our let's get ourselves a. All right now, then let's use Zelda Solipi. And that'll help us get the last of the magic beans. Now we just have to swim back down the river. Which means we are gonna have to deal with the owl. Also watch out for the water tech types. It's a little hard to deal with them when you're swimming. Awesome, awesome. oh. Right mean, now, is Mr. Owl back? No, unfortunately, Mr. Owl is not back, so that's good. At least we don't have to deal with him. 
Chomp, chomp, chomp. We have super rare magic beans. This could be your last chance. Special price, 70 rupees for one piece. Yeah, he really is. This guy is. This magic bean salesman really is a scammer. <laughs> Alright, now. Alright, chomp, chomp. We have the legendary magic beans. I'll sell them only to you. Super price, 80 rupees for one piece. Yeah, he keeps increasing the price because he has a limited supply and I demand it. <laughs> Uh, because he has a supply and I demand it. That's capitalism, guys. <laughs> Isn't that great? <laughs> Isn't capitalism wonderful? <laughs> um, <laughs> capitalism is the greatest system ever, and I don't see any problem with it whatsoever. <laughs> Not that I would ever advocate for communism. <laughs> anyway... <laughs> <laughs> all right now all right now let's get her let's get her all right now let's play a opponent song for these frogs since it's the only song we have left that we can you know play for them since we don't have the song of time or the song of storms follow in we follow indiaism around here <laughs> i don't think i'll be starting any kind of system or movement unfortunately and i'm kind of happy for that <laughs> Because it seems like a, things can go wrong pretty quickly, depending on who you know adapt, who you know adapts it. <laughs> yeah, human nature is kind of the, basically the problem with basically any system. Basically, that's kind of why a lot of them are so full of corruption. It's not necessarily that they're bad in them the, themselves; it's that humans are kind of assholes. <laughs> At least that's what I think. Anyway. Anyway, why don't we stop talking about that and, you know, go over here. Alright, now. Let's play Zelda. Let's play Zelda Solabite for over here, yeah. And then once we get here, we'll play the diving game. We'll also, you know, light the torches and get the secret behind the waterfall. Which leads to another heart piece we can get. And then after that, it's just this. It, we just have to get the bot. We just have to play the diving game so we can get the bottle and then go to, uh, and then go to, um, Jabu Jabu. All right, we need to catch a fish. In, we need to catch a fish in a bottle. Yeah, that's one of our objectives as well. Mm. That is also on our objective list. Um. Ooh. All right, now first off, let me just grab my deku sticks and also. Wait, where's all right now? All right, where's the bottle? There we go. All right, I will be grabbing that. Me. All right now. Mm, Anabin, 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 Anabin is the, it is the most cute, adorable Sundere rabbit. Mm. I, however, am not cute or Sundere or adorable whatsoever. Because I am not cute. I am 100% not cute, though. Yeah, and that, that's not a lie, no. And I would, ne and I would never spread, and I would never spread fake news about that. <laughs> I would never spread fake news. Also, we're not going to be rolling when we get to the water. For obvious reasons. Oh, whoops. I screwed that up. I thought I got the fire on it. Oh, no. Whoops, I screwed that up. Normally, I'm on, I'm on the ball on this, but apparently not today. <laughs> Normally, I'm on the ball with that. Not today, apparently. All right, now... And then we just get over there and light that torch. And we just get under here and light two torches, avoiding the waterfall. Wait, what? Wait, what? Right now, let's avoid... There we go. All right, it seems like we have this. All right, I kind of screwed that up a little bit. All right, good thing I saved my Deku stick at least. And I was trying to conserve Deku sticks, and I kind of screwed it up a little bit. Oh well, that's okay. Hi there, Dokurais. All right, now let's get ourselves another heart piece, shall we? All right, it's gonna be nice and it's gonna be simple and clean to get this heart piece. Unlike 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 the plot, the Kingdom Hearts, which you know is neither simple nor clean. Because it's dirty and filthy. <laughs> because it's complex, dirty, and filthy. 
<laughs> you know. <laughs> but you know, it doesn't go along with the crab people. But doesn't it go along with the crab pe with the agenda of the crab people? Wait, actually, in the lore, it's not the crab people that are evil. It's actually the squid people. <laughs> yeah, it's a completely different canon, though. It's a completely different universe because you know, um, Earth Eyes Un Earth Eyes universe is very different from you know other other instances of similar universes because you know, um. Earth Eye is basically its own thing, and, you know, um, other beings in Earth R are basically able to make their own instances of, you know, or similar realities to Earth Eye that are very different. <laughs> if that makes any sense. All right, now, all right, now we just have to pick up all the rupees in a time limit, which is very easy to do on the first try. All right, now we just have to avoid crashing our head into the rock. Well, normally I grab one rupee. Hopefully we have plenty of time. Hopefully we have we got plenty of time, so we're I'm not particularly worried. There we go, we got it. That's uh, me. Hi has funny. Hey, Anna, hey, Anabin. Hey, An I, I did girl ace. Hey, Anabin. Hey, Anabin. We got, we got the honey bunny. We got, we got, we got, we got foam swordsman. We got, we got the curl ace. We got everybody, we got everybody that we need here. Awesome. I'm glad you guys are all here. I'm very happy for that. You guys are all amazing. Yeah, I can't wait till I get the new model, yeah. Of course, it's halfway paid off right now. It'll probably take till around the end of the month to finally get it paid off, though, because that's when my check clears. So it'll be a while before I get it. In the meantime, I am going to be using PNG mode for much of the days. And also, I'm kind of doing this in between of grinding for grinding on Baton Kaidos because there isn't really much to grind for in this game. Yeah, I kind of think I'll be doing that whenever I play a big RPG, maybe. You know, kind of, the kind of, you know, kind of, you know, give me something to do. All the Halloween mascots. I mean, is a bunny really a Halloween? I mean, we got a bat, we got a cat, we got a skeleton. I mean, we're we're kind of missing a we're kind of missing a ghost and a spider. <laughs> Those are also very common on Halloween. Wait, is anybody in here also a is also a ghost or a spider? <laughs> mm. Although although bunnies and bat although bunnies and bats are you know are you know um very nice and also cats too. I know lots of people like cats. It feels like more of an anime. It feels like more of an anime convention. <laughs> as you know, there's because you know there's people that'll dress up as bats and cats and bunnies in there. <laughs> Got to, got, to, got to go be working on DM, DM, DRM, meow, okay. Okay, see you later. See you later, fun, see you later, um, to Hope to see, hope you see you again. Mm, I dress up as a cat, <laughs> okay. All right, now. All right, now. All right, now we have the mess, we have the message in the bottle, which we need to give to King Zora. There is a couple things we need to do before we get into, you know, Jabu Jabu's belly just outside of Zor, of you know, the, just outside of his lair. You know, aside from getting Pharaoh's wind, there's also a Skulltula. All right, now, hey King Zora, can I get by? You know, can I get by here? Yes. I just need to. I just need to. I just need you to let me by. Yes. All right, he's gonna. He's gonna get by by scooching his butt across. You know, as. Across a very smooth surface, yes. <laughs> I'm sure. I'm sure he'll. Yeah. Yeah. He's he's having a bit of trouble moving because he's kind of you know said just sitting there. He's kind of guarding the area from you know intruders. Please find my princess Frodo immediately, Zora. Yeah, I'm not a Zora. I'm a human. I'm a, I'm a dirty human. <laughs> well, I am a, I am the, I am a princess of arts, yes. I am a princess of arcs, and I speak for the bats. Yeah, the bats and fish. The bats and fish haven't exactly gotten along. I dress up as a. <laughs> I don't picture that. Oh boy. 
I would love if people were to dress up as me, but, you know, I'm not super duper popular or anything like that. If I were ever to get, like, thousands and thousands of viewers, I, there may be somebody who will probably do that. I kind of would love to see pictures of that, too. <laughs> that'd be pretty fun. I think that'd be pretty fun. <laughs> mm. Maybe somebody will dress up in some of my alternate costumes, maybe. Who knows? We could get somebody dressed up as a Dorito. <laughs> and then they could probably send it to me to try and fool me on Twitter. <laughs> like it's that they were saying Endorito confirmed or whatever. <laughs> could you imagine somebody doing that going on the internet just to troll somebody? <laughs> you think people would do that? Go on the internet and just, you know, just, you know, troll people? <laughs> it's sort of like going on the internet and telling lies. You don't think anybody would actually do that, do you? <laughs> the answer is, of course, yes, they would. <laughs> right now. All right, how many skull, how many gold skull souls do I have? Oh, you have enough for. All right, I believe it's like. All right, I believe it's like thirty for the for the giant wallet. All right, what am I doing? I, I have the glitch active. I have the, I have the, I have the, I have the glitch active, so I'm kind of storing the jump power. Also, I know where I can get another, another heart piece, which I will show off. You know, once I'm done with Javu Javu. All right, and over here is basically another fairy fountain, which I will use to get Pharaoh's Wind. Also, I love, I love the great fairy fountain theme. It's always very nice and soothing. I'm very, yes. Of course, the Great Fairies are always aggressively sexual. In fact, I'm pretty sure this is the first game where Great Fairies are, like, super duper aggressively sexual. Which they would, it, 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 that, which would get escalated into Breath of the Wild and, King, and Tears of the Kingdom. Yeah, don't, don't ask what happens when you upgrade your, when you upgrade your armor by four, when you upgrade your armor by four, by four. <laughs> by plus four. Because <laughs> mm, that's when the magic happens. <laughs> And uh, you guys know what I mean by the magic. By the way, in Hyrule Warriors, a great fairy, you know, kept a link inside of a bottle. Yeah, that was one of the things you could do. <laughs> in fact, I believe there was a weapon based around that, yeah. <laughs> I need to play Hyrule Warriors for you guys one day. <laughs> oh, I should probably finish. Should I, should I probably go back to Fire Emblem Warriors, maybe? Maybe one day. Yeah, I kind of dropped that and it kind of disappeared. Yeah. Remember, you can use the Pharaoh's Wind on, only on the dungeons that have a dungeon map hidden inside, okay? So basically, if any dungeon has a dungeon map, we can use it in there. So basically, all of them. <laughs> yeah, so basically, it just means you can't use it in the overworld to really do anything. Just inside of dungeons. Which is pretty much okay. Which is okay, I'm fine with that. Right now, what do you say we go back to... What do you say we go back and give Jabu Jabu a little treat, shall we? Now... Who would ever think to do this without, you know, going around or as... Without a guide, really? Alright, now let's give the fish... He's gonna immediately try to suck it up and also suck us up. All right, Kirby, suck it up. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. All right, Kirby's. All right, now Kirby's gonna suck us up just like a juicy power up. Oh no, he's sucking us up just like in Smash. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! <laughs> mm -hmm. I wish Kirby was good in Smash. You know, Kirby is like the most OP character and he complete it's like the most OP Nintendo character and he completely sucks in Smash. Get out of your bubble. Get out of your bubble. Alright, we gotta be careful, you know. We gotta be careful not to touch the bubbles, actually. Get out of your bubble. Alright, then we just snipe that to shoot but it oh, open a door. And we can get we can put this dungeon is not too hard really. Well, aside from maybe electric jellyfish, which we can easily just avoid for now. 
Yeah, we're gonna need the boomerang to be able to deal with those guys. And then here's where we're gonna meet Princess Sora. And we also see that green thing right over there. Please remember where that is. You, who are you? I am Rudo, Princess of the Zoras. What are you saying? My father asked you to come here to save me? I know I didn't ask it. I never asked any. I, I never asked any. Asked anyone to do such a thing. Letter in a bottle. I have no idea what you're talking about. Oh no, Princess! Oh no, Princess Rudo is a tsundere. Oh no, that makes her the best girl. <laughs> that makes her instant best girl. Soon, soon, very soon, very soon, soon. We should. Uh, we have. We have a tsundere bunny, and we have. A, we have a tsundere cat, and we have a tsundere um. And we have, yeah, we have a tsundere bunny, we have a tsundere cat, and we have a tsundere fish person. Yeah, uh, yeah, it's full, we're in tsundere heaven, yeah. <laughs> it's sort of like punishment heaven, but you know, uh, but, uh, and also, but somehow even more fun. On top of that, my precious stone was, but that's none of your business anyway. You go home, you understand? You're not worried about me. Then I will give you the honor of carrying me. However, I won't leave until I find the thing I'm looking for. You better believe me. Your thing, Princess Bruto. And I am going to immediately go over here. All right, now let's throw Princess Sora's fat butt on the, on the bubbles. Now throw her on the bubble. All right, I know what we can do with Princess Bruto right off the bat. We can have her take care of that. I right know she is over there. I right know she will be right over there. Whoop! Watch out! I don't want to touch those. I don't want to touch the zinc. I don't want to touch the stairs. I don't want to touch the stairs. Yeah, they will fly. They will fly out of the water and try to get you. I feel you pretty. Pretty much what we're having to do is kind of avoid the enemies. Uh-oh. Ow. I got nicked by a bubble. Ow. I got nicked by a freaking bubble. Ouch. Oh, dropped hearts. Nice. Nice it nice of it to drop hearts for me. Alright, let's get the Princess Frodo out of here. And these bubbles aren't really much of a threat on their own. They don't do that much damage. Right now, immediately go toward a shield. Bounce back the uh, rock at the Octa Rock. Grab Princess Rudo. Please don't throw her. Right now we just wait for the platform to come down. We wait for the platform to come down. Where do we go? Get over there. All right now. Oh, no, uh, no, Princess Rudo is not like me. She's like you, Inneben. She's like you, it's Sundry. <laughs> Sundry Bunny. Sundry Bunny is very funny. <laughs> Sundry Bunny is very, very funny. Funny Honey Bunny. Funny Honey Bunny. Right now, I know what this do for that switch, but I think I need to go the other way first. Pretty sure I need to go this way, yeah. I definitely remember using Princess Zuda. This switch, it doesn't look like you can you can press it up down on your with your weight alone in Damati. Yeah, we need Princess we need Princess Rudo's, you know, heavyweight butt. <laughs> yeah, we're not calling Rudo fat. Please don't please don't say that. Otherwise, she'll get all soon ray on us. Alright, we got one of the stingers. Alright, we got one of the stingers. Whoops. Basically, if we throw Princess Rudo at them at their right angle, we can kind of avoid, we can kind of, you know, deal with them without them popping up. And deal with them without them, you know, popping up. Now, 
just have to position it just right. There we go. And that pretty much takes care of all of them. And that'll take care of pretty much all of them. Alright, Adversary Purified. And then over here, we're gonna get ourselves the Boomerang. Which is gonna open up pretty much the entire dungeon to us. Now we got the Boomerang, yeah. Hmm. Press C to use it to attack at us and enemies. Alright, I'm gonna... All right, I'm gonna set. All right, now I'm gonna change the buttons up. I am pretty sure there's nothing I need bombs for in here. At least I don't remember there being some. Yeah, you can kill the pla telplasm with the telplasm or whatever these things are called with you know Brudo as well. Although it doesn't always work. All right, wait for it to turn around because that's when it will be vulnerable. Alright, please don't aggro both of them at once, otherwise they will otherwise it will be harder to deal with them. And if you wait for them to turn around, they'll be a little bit vulnerable. Alright now. And we just crush them with, you know, big big, big Zora booty. <laughs> hmm. Sort of like sort of like when Anaben crush it when Anaben crushes something with his thighs. <laughs> They're like when Anaben, you know, crush it when Anaben, you know, crushed my thighs last night with his with his big head. With his big with his big meaty thighs. <laughs> Alright, get that tentacle. Oh no, there's tentacles in this game. Oh no, tentacles! I don't like that. There's tentacles. I've seen enough until you know where this is going. <laughs> oh no, tentacles. <laughs> oh no, tentacles. <laughs> Ah, uh, yeah, I've seen enough hints, I didn't know where, ten where tentacles are going. <laughs> Frickin' tentacles. <laughs> Frickin' tentacles. Hey, how could you abandon me? I'm, I'm gonna act all Sundaray for it. I'm gonna act all Sundaray now. Yeah, that's gonna, that's gonna make, that's gonna give me plenty of Moe points. <laughs> that's gonna be, make, make, make me super Moe, just like the cats in, you know, Nekopara. <laughs> All right, come and get me if you're able. All right, now they will do a cycle where they will turn around, which makes them vulnerable. And we have basically dealt them. I will not be going to the compass room, because that place is... Well, I can do that place if I really want to. The important thing is over here. The red slimy thing is gone. It must be because you cut the red tail. Will that work with the others too? No, those were not tails or, te or slimy things, those were called tentacles. You know, I think Jabu Jabu has a little case of, you know, some, uh, some, uh, tapeworms. <laughs> if they're all, if they're all some sort of tentacle. Now, we need to attack Lord Jabu Jabu's Yuffia, Yuffia. Alright, now that'll take care of, that'll take care of that one. And then, that'll get rid of, that'll get rid of another one. Now we just have one more to take care of. Now we just crush. They'll just crush you with big fat, with big fat Zora booty. Crush him with Zora, with Princess, with Princess Brudo's big fat, big fat Zora butt. Who knew that? Who knew that? Who knew that fish booty was, you know, super effective against, you know, electric monsters? Normally that doesn't happen if you're playing, you know, um, if you're playing Breath of the Wild or, you know, um, or Tears of the Kingdom, because electric enemies are very dangerous if you're wearing Zora armor. Hmm. <sighs> Alright, now, and then we just... We'll just deal with these jellyfish, which are thankfully easy enough to deal with. Oops, whoa, 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 whoa. I'll on to the jellyfish that's coming at me. Alright, it's trying to swing itself into me. And you hit it before it hits us, basically. Alright, that takes care of that. And we took care of all and we took care of all the tails, so that means we can advance. In fact, we're halfway done with the dungeon actually. Now we just I guess we can just dodge around Oh well we'll just dodge around those. 
We'll just dodge around those. Kind of, you know, carrying a big fat, kind of carrying a big fat, you know, princess. Kind of carrying, you know, a princess big fat booty. Alright, the reason I'm right now, and the thing is, we can use the boomerang to kind of hit, you know, sculptures that are on the wall that were out of reach previously. Which we are going to do a lot when we come out, when we come outside of this dungeon. Alright, are there any jellyfish coming at me? Yep, thankfully. Now I just need to take care of this one. And just grab the just grab the metal. Alright, I think we got all the ones in Jabu J wait, there is one more in Jabu Jabu's belly, yeah. I remember where it is. It's in it's in Barnade's room. Alright, there's a spiritual stone of water! That's it, that's what I've been looking for. Throw me up there onto the platform. Alright, sure thing, Princess Rudo. Alright now. Princess Rudo got the spiritual stone, but why Princess Rudo? Oh my goodness, I finally found my mother's spiritual stone. I got very upset when Lord Jabu Jabu swallowed it. When I was feeding him, he suddenly swallowed me. I was so surprised that I dropped it inside. But now that now it's found, I don't need to be here in here anymore. So take me home right now. Alright, sure, I'll take you home right now. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, I think the platform- I think something is coming. Yeah, what is that? An octopus? Uh-oh. An octopus is attacking your it's attacking, you know, a little girl. That's not good. <laughs> no, they're attacking a fish per- they're attacking a fish person. No, I don't like tentacles. Got your octopus. Got your, your weird looking octopus. Right now. Oops, uh, I guess I missed the boomerang timing on that. Boomerang timing on that. Right now. Luckily, Big Acto is very easy to do with once you know how to know how to deal with it. We just wait for. We'll just wait for him to, you know, unstun and then spin. Whoops, I kind of missed, I kind of missed time that. And just wait for him to... Up to him for him to become unfrozen. And then we just do that. And he goes down fairly easily. Hmm. Yep, he went down fairly easy. He went down super easy. Luckily, he's easy enough to deal with. Right, and luckily we don't really have to worry too much about jellyfish. Luckily we don't really have to worry too much about jellyfish since we have a tool that can deal with them a little really easily. We have a weapon that can deal with them super easy, so we don't have to worry about them. Right now I believe there's Octorox down here. Right now we have to take care of the Octorox. So that we can deal with these, so that we're not being disrupted by, you know, flying rocks flying in our face. Now we're trying to deal with these red tongues that, you know, will electrify us if we're, they're not stunned. Jellyfish donuts are the best. Mmm, <laughs> jellyfish donut. I don't think that's quite what I was going for. Alright, now we lowered the platform down. Alright, let's take care of the jellyfish so it's not in the way. Oh wait, five rupees, I'll grab that. I'll grab that just go. Alright, now what I'm supposed to do is, you know, pick up one of these boxes. Now there are a couple areas where I'm going to need boxes in the game. They're like this. And then all we have to do is, you know, drop the box without throwing it. Drop the box down without throwing it. Then we just have this room to finish before we get to the boss, which is... You know, let's take care of all these jellyfish so they're not in the way. 
I wish I, there was a mask that you know could say, "Hey, you can use this to get rid. Of, you can use this to get party off your back." Yeah, weren't these jellyfish in like you know um in you know um link link to the past? I think I remember there being an enemy like that. Whoops. Probably shouldn't do that. I want to throw it at the Ultula that's right there. You won't be able to beat it in one hit because it's too high for our sword to reach. Luckily our boomerang can reach it pretty easily. And that concludes all the Sculptulas in Jabu Jabu's belly. And we're actually almost done. We just have this one switch to take care of. Which if you lock on and use the boomerang, it should be nice and simple. It's nice and simple. Then we just fall down here. Alright, now let's go take on Bar- let's go take on Baronade now. Alright, Baronade shouldn't be too much of a problem, really. Yeah, now Barney does have a lot of phases, but it's okay. He's not too much trouble. If worst comes to worst, I have a fairy and I've got like a bunch of hearts. There's also jars around his arena that can give you hearts. I'm not too worried. He's never exactly been the toughest enemy. If you know what you're doing, it's pretty easy. Of course, he does have jellyfish armor, so we're gonna have to break through that. Right, let's get back. And now let's get back a little bit. All right, he's gonna try to come at us. We basically have to take care of the little jellyfish around him. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh no, he's on us. He's right on top of us. Oh, whoops! Oh, I got hit. That's okay. That's okay, usually I'm on the ball with that. Usually I'm a little on the ball better than that. Alright, hit that, hit that jelly, please. Then all we have to do is worry about this phase. Right now, let's watch out for the thunder beams. Let's watch out for his electric beams. Alright, as long as we keep moving, he can't really hit us. Right now, watch out for the electric beams. As long as we keep as long as we keep strafing, he can't really hit us. I'll just keep strafing and hopefully he doesn't come flying at us once he gets out of the ground. Alright, please come over this way. Oh uh, whoops. Almost got us. All right, there we go. Fright bunny is better. Oh, no. No, we're not going to fight a bunny. All right, and he explodes into basically a big gross lump. Surprisingly pretty graphic for the game. Yeah, and this version also has the red blood for Ganondorf, doesn't it? Yeah. So it's going to get even more graphic. And we recovered, like, the quarter heart of damage that we took from, you know, getting hit, from getting hit by, you know, the electric beam. As I said, he's not very tough. You're late. What took you so long? You're useless. No, I'm not useless. I was just lonely. That's all. Just a little. Uh, yeah, it's not like I like you or anything, Baka. 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 <laughs> it's sort of like when Ennepin, you know, um, when deflex on be um, deflex on being cute. He's like, I'm not cute. Baka. 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 <laughs> Baka. <laughs> Now it's time for the- no, 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 there's no such thing as Enderito. Enderito's not real. There is no such thing as Enderito. Also, you misspelled it. <laughs> that- that docks you points. <laughs> you, you look so cool, cooler than I thought you would anyway. Just a little. Well, you saved me, so I guess I sh I'll reward you. 
What do you wish? Just tell me. I want the spiritual stone. Uh, I got uh, nothing really. <laughs> Don't be shy. I can tell you what you're thinking. My mother gave it to me and said I should give it only to the man who will be my husband. You might call it the Zora engagement ring. I spoil <laughs> exactly like it was. All right. I'll give you to my most precious possession, Sora Sapphire. Oh no, it's a Sora engagement ring. <laughs> cool, we got, we're gonna get a fit. All right, I'm not sure what she meant by you know, uh, by you know, engagement ring or you know, our you know, most precious possession. But you know, we got the spiritual stone, so that's nice. Is it enough though for? No, yeah, you're. At, I'm not five inch nine. I'm five foot nine. Yeah. And that's good old, you know, American Freedom units, by the way. That's not, you know, whatever you're trying to make up. Yeah, it's five foot nine. Five foot nine, yeah. <laughs> and by the way, ears don't count. You're under five feet. <laughs> you're shorter than the cats, you know, if we don't count the ears. <laughs> I am 100%. Don't tell me, Father. Don't tell me, Father, that we're basically committed, that I'm basically committed to a human. And also, you know, the hero of time, you know? That, that's like a big deal. <laughs> that's like a big deal to my people and my culture. <laughs> Alright, now. No, no, I am I, I, no, I am not shorter than a cat. Yes, you are. The ears don't count. You're shorter than the cat. You're shorter than the cat and the ears don't count. Ears don't count. Ears don't count. <laughs> ears don't count. Ears do not count, no. <laughs> no, 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 ears don't count. Alright, now we got another gold sculpture, nice. Alright, now we just have to find the rest of the gold sculptures that we can get with the boomerang. Also, we should probably stop by Kakariko for just a little bit. I have to go there anyway because I know there's another sculpture over there. I know there's a sculpture I can get over there. I know there's a sculpture I can get over there, so I might as well, you know, go there first and grab myself the giant's wallet. Wait, or do I go to Zor- Actually, I'll go to Zora's River. Actually, I'll go to Zora's- I'll go to Zora- I'll go to Lake Hylia later. Sure enough to put you in the- Sure enough to put you in the up in my oven! What? Wait, 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 what do you mean? <laughs> You guys are funny. You guys are so funny. You guys are really so funny. You guys are all funny and I love you. I love each and every one of you and you're all super funny, yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Alright, now let's hopefully grab ourselves some more money. I need an extra dollar. I need another cent. And the reason I basically need more money was for basically horse racing, which I will do probably late, late, late into this episode, maybe, or maybe next time. I don't know. Maybe I'll do it. <laughs> All right, now let's go over to Kakariko first, since I know there's a couple things we can do there. Now that they have the now that they have a boomerang. Oh wait, first I should probably stop by. You know the secret. First off, there's a secret hole that I've been kind of holding off on going to because I knew it was there. And I also didn't have a boomerang because because I know there's a gold sculpture down there that I can only get with the boomerang. Yeah, basically it's over here. Alright, I will throw a bomb over there. Hopefully it hits the hole. There it is. There we go, we hit the hole. Alright, watch out for this gold watch out for the sculpt. Watch out for the big sculpture here, which will be nice and simple to take down. Right now, the gold sculpture should be right over there. And I'll take care of that real quick. Right now, and I will grab that. And I will grab that, and I will grab that. Let's see, how many sculptures can I get? I'm pretty sure it's around somewhere around 40 or so. I'm pretty sure it's somewhere over 40. Alright, I know there's another sculpture in the graveyard I can get. 
So first off, I want to stop by, you know, the spider house. I don't think I need to go to Death Mountain to pick up another one. Because I'm pretty sure all the other ones there are with Adult Link. I think so anyway, if I remember correctly. Alright, I'm trying to remember where they all are. The curse has been broken, thank you, here's a reward for you. And I got the Stone of Agony, and I do not have a Rumble Pack. It basically shows you where secret holes are. It kind of got replaced with the Shard of Agony in the 3DS version, so if you're confused about that... Alright, a Giant's Wallet, now I have like 500 rupees. Which I will use the bunny hood to basically fill up. <laughs> Excuse me. Excuse me for that. Oh. Please excuse me, I have quite a bit of gas, I'm sorry. Sorry, I don't know what's going on with that. Alright, now we just need to go to the graveyard and wait for it to be nightfall. Actually, we don't really have to wait. I'll just make it nightfall. If at first, if the nightfall doesn't come, I'll just make it night. And I've already gotten the one in Death Mountain. Oh wait, there is one more thing I should probably do in Kakariko, yeah. Since I have the boomerang. There is one more thing I will do after I get this sculpture that I almost forgot to do. Yeah, just bear with me for just a minute. Just grabbing myself a sculpture. There, I think I got all the ones in the graveyard. I'm pretty sure I got all the ones in the graveyard anyway. I don't have... Alright, I have 37 of them. 37. Hmm... I know where there's a few more I can get. I know where there's a couple more I can get. Alright, first off I'm gonna go visit the windmill. Now this might seem like a bit of an odd choice at first. But, look over here. You saw that heart piece that's up there, right? You saw the heart piece that's basically up there, right? Alright, I will have to aim a little bit better than that. Alright, I mean, I, I know I can get it with this. I've seen other players do this. There we go. And we got ourselves the heart piece with it. There we go. And that brings us to 11 hearts. Nice. I can't believe I already have 11 hearts. <clears throat> I can't believe I have 11 hearts, guys. Yeah, it's just because I picked up those two extra heart pieces. Yeah, you can have, you can canonically have like 11 hearts when you're a child. Nice. All right, now, what do you say we make a quick... I'll make a stop by the lost... Oh, wait a minute. I almost forgot... I forgot to do something. I almost forgot about something real quick. I almost forgot about something, so I'm gonna fix that right now. Yeah, I'm also supposed to be planting magic beans, aren't I? Right, 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 right. I almost forgot about that. Almost forgot. Well, um, well, no, well, now I, now I actually remembered. Yeah, sorry, my brain, you know, doesn't, didn't remember that for whatever reason. Hmm, <laughs> I, I don't know why. It just didn't for whatever reason. Even though we planted kind of far away from the seed pot, it, you know, magically spawned in there anyway. I'm guessing part of the magic seeds, you know, magic superpowers are, you know, the magic to bend space and time. <laughs> right now, there's one more. Now, we do actually have to visit Death Mountain a little bit. Not because we need a Skulltula over there, but actually because I need to plant a magic bean. And I need to ma plant magic beans as a child, otherwise I can't do it as an adult. And then I will go by... 
Wait, I should probably sell the... Wait, before I go to the Lost Woods, I should probably sell... I should probably sell the Bunny Hood first. The reason I want to sell the Bunny Hood is so I can go to ca Castle Market Town and, you know, get the... get the Mask of Truth. Yeah, it's kind of a shop... it's kind of a big shopping list of things to do, isn't it? Yeah, it's kind of always like that, yeah. I always like that in a Zelda game. You need to do this, that, and that to, you know, get to get things done. Right now. And the last and right now. Right now I know where to Right now we need to look for the guy. Right now. We need to go to Hyrule Field and go sell and go sell the bunny hood. I'm pretty sure you can do it as soon as you get I'm pretty sure you can do it as soon as you get uh, Giant's Vault, I think, or after clearing Jabu Jabu. I'm not really sure which. Wait, did I get the Sculptula from the tree here? Yes, I certainly did. Just checking on that real quick. Just checking on that. I thought I would check that real quick. Oh, uh, whoops. Oh well, they're not on the field anymore. I mean, first and foremost, let's sell that, and then I will go over to Rudo Wait, I should go to Lon Lon Ranch, too. I need to go to Lon Lon Ranch at night, too. There are a couple of sculptures I can get over there as well. Now, I'll go, I'll go to Lon Lon Ranch first. And then I'll worry about selling the bunny hood. And when, yeah, there are a couple in Lawn Lawn Ranch I can get the boomerang. Thing as I got it now. And I can kind of clear out Lawn Lawn Ranch of all the, of all the gold sculptulas. Also, I might as well grab myself some rupees while I'm here. Because why not? Actually, I don't really need them because I do basically plan on getting like 500 rupees, which is basically what you get when you sell the bunny hood. You basically get a, you basically get a, you get a full wallet. Oh wait, one of the gold sculptures is right here. I can hear it. Yep, it's right up at that window. And since I have the boomerang, I can get it. And it makes me wish I were here with the skull mask because I know it can you know. Get the crows off my back at least. I know it can keep crows off my back. Luckily they don't, you know, poo on you like they do on Skyward Sword. Yeah, the yeah, the crows actually do poo on you on Skyward Sword, and you know, that's really not nice because it like drains your stamina. <laughs> it like drains your stamina whenever it whenever it's happening. Because it's like super gross or whatever. <laughs> Alright, there might be crows coming at me. Luckily, I don't have to worry about that right now. Yeah, they do poo on you in Skyward Sword, don't they? Yeah, I'm sure if Wadley and were here, he'd probably confirm that, because he's played Skyward Sword. And he's probably had it happen to him, maybe. I, however, haven't played Skyward Sword for whatever reason. Yeah, what is my reason for that? Alright, do we have all the ones in... Yep, I got all the ones in Lon Lon Ranch. Yeah, the ones in Lon Lon Ranch are pretty pretty much easy and they're all in the child timeline. There's like zero of them in, you know, the adult timeline. Alright, now... Now we need to sell the bunny hood. Now we need to sell the bunny hood. Where did that guy go off? Now where is that? And I think I see him right over there. There he is. You can kinda see a dot of him in the distance. I bet with all song ears you can hear the voices. Oh, those are genuine rabbit ears from the ain't animal of legends. I don't care how expensive it is. Please sell them to me. Sure. 
My lifelong last returning to the wild form, finally the actor, the stage, and prop have been united. It's a 50 ruby mask, but he paid a crazy amount of money for it. More money than you can count! Go back to the mask shop and pay back just 50 rubies of this. Alright, now he all right, now he paid me like 500 rupees for all that. And it only cost me and it only cost me like 50 of those. So that's pretty nice. Well, nice for me anyway. Alright, I won't be needing the ocarina for a while. Unless it, you know, turns unless it turns daytime. Alright, now I don't have the bunny hood to keep me safe from skeletons, but that's okay. That's okay, I don't really need to fight them anyway. Like, it's about daytime anyway. Now I will go over here because I know there's a couple of gold sculptures I can get now. Since I have the boomerang. Alright, alright now. Just cleaning up some things before I go to the Temple of Time. Alright, before I go to the, lo to the Lost Woods, I'm probably going to stop by Hyrule Castle Town. Luckily, the owl is in, you know... Luckily, the owl is, you know, in Lake Hylia. Alright, here's where we're going to... Alright, now. Since I don't have a torch, I'm pretty much going to have to use Den's Fire. And I get to see that Den's Fire is very powerful. Also, pretty expensive on magic. And we also have a cow in case you want to get, in case you want to get milk. And in fact, I will show you how to get milk. I do have an empty bottle with me. In fact, I'm pretty sure I have a couple empty bottles, right? I have a couple empty bottles. Let me show you a little secret to getting milk. Here I'm at a horror game where you have to escape the owl. <laughs> oh no, that sounds terrifying. Owls are, you know, predators to us bats. Moo, what a nice song. It reminds me of the pasture. That song makes me feel so good I can't I can produce a lot of milk. Have some of my refreshing and nutritious milk. And that basically will give that what that's how you get free lamb on milk. If you really want that for whatever reason. I just thought I'd show you that. I probably won't keep it for very long though. At least not, not at least when I get to the ice cavern, I'll probably discard it. Alright, maybe I'll use it to heal myself, maybe. Who knows? Maybe I'll use it to heal myself when I'm fighting Phantom Ganon. Alright, basically I need it to be nighttime here because that's when the gold sculptures are out. I have already gotten the one in the dirt patch, so I don't need to worry about that one. Unfortunately, the rest of the ones in Gerudo Valley can't really be obtained because I can't get across because I can't get across the bridge. And am I spell quell? No. No, 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 no. It's not my milk. It's milk from a cow. It, it's... I'm not a cow, guys. <laughs> I mean, I know I have tits that, you know, look like a cow, but, you know, that doesn't make me a cow. <laughs> no. Not by any stretch of the imagination. <laughs> you, you guys. You guys are really down bad. You guys are all really down bad. Alright, I will not be using my seed over there. <laughs> seed. <laughs> nah, 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 bat cow! I mean, technically speaking, there is a bat cow, you know, um, Damien Wayne, you know, brought in a cow that, you know, became, you know, that became a new Robin. <laughs> now, that's a real thing, by the way. <laughs> now, of course, Damien Wayne would be responsible for that. <laughs> Only Damien Wayne would be responsible for something so insane. <laughs> Alright, and I know there's a Sculptula right over. Well, I better hurry up and kill it. Don't worry, Navi, I know what I'm doing, so don't worry. Don't worry, Navi, I know what I'm doing, so don't worry. Don't worry, Navi, I know what I'm doing. You don't need to worry. I'm perfectly fine. All right now, let's use this owl. All right now, the one time the owl is useful, and it's basically to lead you either back to Hyrule Castle, or you know, to go to, or you know, to get that one heart piece, because he takes you on the roof that you know leads there. I wouldn't say the owl is technically the worst character. 
I mean, Navi is also very useful despite out uh, despite her reputation of being annoying, which I definitely blame on Aaron Hansen. Because of course Aaron Hansen would be the one responsible for that. <laughs> I'm on my way back to ca back to the castle. If you want to come with me, hold on to my talons, and I will do just that. And it's not like I can get the gold sculptures that are in he that are over here anyway. Not the rest of them anyway. Unless I were to glitch. Do bunnies have milk? I don't know. Annabin, do bunnies have milk? Yeah, Annabin milk. <laughs> <laughs> mm, get that nice fresh nice get that nice refreshing Annabin milk. <laughs> oh no. Enter in enter in, in, nope 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 get those two hotels away from me. Oh no. Oh no. No worry don't worry, don't worry, this all is super friendly. And it's not like he's a terrifying predator of you know bats or anything. I mean a girl Mm, the girls do breastfeed, so yes. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Alright, here comes Impa. Here comes Impa and, and Zelda. Alright, they're gonna drop the Ocarina of Time, which is totally 100% necessary for beating the game. Alright, now we're gonna just, you know, throw them, you know, the fairy Ocarina into the water since we got a shiny new model available. Oh hey, it's Ganondork. Blah! Where did the princess go? You, where did you see them? Uh, I didn't see nothing. Mm. Blah. Eric, I lost her. Just point him in the wrong direction, you know. Mm. You've over there, little kid. You must have seen the white horse gallop pass just now. Which way did it go? Answer me. Nope, I ain't gonna answer shit. <laughs> so, you think you can protect them from me? You've got guts, kid. I'm gonna take you down. <laughs> you want a piece of me? Very funny. I like your attitude. Uh oh, he's using the powers of darkness. He's firing the. He's firing the dark. He's firing a darkness. He's firing the Mega Destruction Dark Ball of Darkness and Destruction, and it also hit! Wait, that's not canon. Pathetic little fool, do you realize who you are dealing with? I am Ganondorf, and soon I will rule the world! Twirl's mustache. <laughs> yes, my god demise, you know, taught me that. <laughs> yes, he taught me all about being an evil mustache twirling villain. <laughs> Who blatantly lusts for power. Such a tough guy beating up a kid. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, it is Link. Have you seen the kind of things you know Link did as a child? I am pretty... Yeah. Yeah, unfortunately, Ganondorf is like, I need you as part of my plan, so I'm not gonna kill you. That's basically what he's thinking right now. Yeah, it's not. Yeah, it's not like he saw Zelda throw the throw the Ocarina of Time in there in the river, or in the moat. All right, now let's get ourselves the Ocarina of Time. Title drop. <laughs> Animati, can you hear me? It's me, Zelda. Hi, Zelda. What's up? Hmm. Animati, when you hold this Ocarina in your hands. Uh oh. I guess you failed to protect it with all your power. I won't be around anymore. I wanted to wait for you, but I couldn't delay any longer. At least I could leave you the ocarina and this melody. This song opens the door of time. Hey, she teaches me the song of time. You know, the song that lets us time travel. Wait, this isn't Majora's Mask. <laughs> I'm just kidding about that. You learned the song of time. Awesome. And that'll get that'll get us that'll get us on the right road. Now, Andamai, play this melody in front of the altar at the Temple of Time. You must protect the Triforce. 
Sure, I will do I will do my best to protect the Triforce. I'm sure no unforeseen things will happen. <laughs> like me getting sealed away for seven years while Ganondorf is able to roam into able to just waltz into the secret realm and take the Triforce. Or at least the piece of it that'll remain with him, and he's gonna be like, What? The Triforce pieces didn't stay with me, blah. This is nonsense. Where the where did they two where did the other two go? <laughs> Wait, they went to the ones of Destiny. Alright, I guess I'm going to find those two, I guess. <laughs> oh great, you sold it. Please pay me back fifty rupees for the bunny hood. Hey, you took my money. Well done, all well, that's so all. all the masks are sold out. I knew I could trust you. As a reward, I will lend you this special mask. It's the mask of truth that the it has a it is a mysterious mask passed down by the Sheikah. With this mask you get you can see into other people's minds. It's useful but scary. Why is it scary? You may find out you may find out as you grow older and discover the true meaning of life. <laughs> yes, I don't I trust that I trust that having a mask salesman doesn't have any dark sinister secrets whatsoever. It's not like he's, you know, it's not like he's some sort of evil godlike entity. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for the stretches and wing stretches. All right, now let's go get back our fifty rupees, and also we're gonna go back to the lost woods and plant the two two remaining beans that we have. All oh, right, first I should probably stop by, you know, the that great decu tree. Also, I should probably get refill all my rupees too. I know where I can get five rupees. Luckily, I know where I can get some rupees at least. Oh, whoops. Must have smashed too many pots to get that five. Alright, now get us, get us some more rupees, please. Alright, there's gotta be more rupees around here. Alright, I will just re-enter, I will just exit and re-enter so I can Pick up, you know, five, just so I can pick up, like, nine more rippies. Which shouldn't be too hard, because I know where all the fives are. I need just one rippie. I might as well get a five that I can't use. Yeah, my wallet is, you know, my wallet is now full. Good thing, make, good thing making money is super easy in this universe. And, you know, not super hard, like, in real life. And you can actually keep it instead of everybody begging for more and more and more and more and more until you're basically squeezed out of every dime. You know, sort of like in real life. <laughs> um, that's capitalism, baby. <laughs> right now, all right. What I need is to take the bombs. All right, I will take the. Oh wait, maybe I better maybe I better save those bombs really. Alright now, first and foremost, I'm pretty sure there's one more sculpture I can get at night in Kokiri Forest. I will go and I will be going back to the Great Deku Tree because there is something I can do since I have bombs and boomerangs. Yes, it is related to getting a sculpture law. Yeah, we're just heading back for a little bit. Yeah, looks like I probably won't be able to do the opponent race. Oh well, that's fine. That's perfectly. I don't care about that right now. I guess I could hop across here in case for some reason I want, you know, an extra five rupees. And I think I should probably go into a house. Alright, now I will come out and exit. Alright, I was... Oh wait, I don't think that particular one shows up until I'm an adult, is it? Does it? Oh well. Alright, so I probably am not going to be needing that one then. Alright, let's go back to the Great Deku Tree and get the one that's hidden in, you know, that hidden door. That one area that we couldn't get past with the bomb. 
And it's all the way at the beginning. It's all the way back at the first dungeon. It makes it it makes it kind of fun to kind of retread retread familiar ground. You know, before we you know go to go through the adult time before we go into the adult timeline. Now, oh, whoops! Yeah, all right, all right. The bowel door was right over this way. All right, just watch out for goma eggs and sculptulas. I'm pretty sure it's gonna be a sculptula right on. No, actually not. Actually, I'm pretty sure we can avoid the gomas. I mean, we do have to deal with a Deku Baba, though. Luckily, they're not too hard to take. And right, we're not going to be needing a Karina. All this for basically one Sculptula. Alright, just ignore that. Just ignore that and me over there. It's not like it's going to chase us down. Not like that and me is going to chase us down anyway. The important thing is to get a good the gold Sculptula and then get out. What even are you? What even are you guarding? What even are you over there guarding anyway? Whoop! Watch out! Almost got nicked by that dude. Almost got nicked by you know Deku Baba. Because <laughs> I got a little too greedy. Got a little too greedy. Almost. Luckily, I'm no. I pretty. Right now, now we can just leave here. And go into the lost woods so we can get the last so we can get our last bean sprouts planted. And then we just head and then we just head back to the castle. Which we can easily do. And we just head back to cap then we just head back to Hyrule Castle. Oh wait, I should probably get the nut upgrade too. I did want I did want the mask of truth for a reason. Heck, just let me equip the mask. Heck, let me equip the Mask of Truth for... Alright, where's the Mask of Truth? Here it is. Yeah, I'm gonna need the Mask of Truth. I'm gonna- I'm just gonna I'm just gonna do it this so I can remember I can- I need the Mask of Truth for something. Alright, I do. I guess I remember it for the nuts upgrade, and if you don't get it within a certain time parameter or get something, I think it's like the poachers, I think it's tied to the big Goron sword quest and, you know, the code. So it can become bugged if you don't do it um, during this before you do big Goron sword stuff. I think it's like tied to the poacher saw, I think. Mm. I think someone ran the numbers and said that. I don't quite remember. But anyway, we have to do it before we do the big Goron Sword quest, so basically we have to do it. So basically we have to do it. Is what I'm saying. Alright now, one of the places to plant the seed will be over here. Alright now. And the other place we have to plant the seed is actually where I have to go anyway. For the Mask of Truth. By the way, how are you guys doing? Ah, uh, planting beans. Kind of reminds me of, you know, doing- it kind of reminds me of doing a side quest in, you know, the realm of food where I had to plant, you know, some magic beans for, for, you know, the bean- for the bean counter. Because they wanted- they wanted to make some- they wanted to make some magic bean stalks grow for later. And there was kind of a reward for that. Yeah, it was kind of- yeah, it's kind of after, you know, the Vegetable Empire got defeated. You know, the Vegetable Empire being where Lord Broccoli lives. You know, Lord Broccoli not exactly being the most... Mm, kind person. I mean, he was great for his people, though. He was actually pretty good for his people since he got them out from under a tyranny. Unfortunately, it's more like he got them out of tyranny and, you know, under, under new management that kind of made them into... Kind of a hyper militaristic nation that kind of took over several other lands basically and tried to attempt to steal the six try to attempt to steal the six elements six pure elements of food. Mm. 
And we will, and I will get the Deku Nut upgrade just now. Mm. Alright now. And now we have the ability to carry 40 Deku Nuts. Nice. Alright, alright now. And the last two Deku, and the last two um, Magic Seeds we aren't going to need to worry about. Until we're an adult. And I know I only got, and I know I only got eight of them. The the other two just lead to rupees. Trust me, I've played this game before. I know that. Anyway, uh, yeah, Lord Broccoli was great for his people though, because he did, you know, he did kind of free them for tyranny and basically made made the nation very prosper, the vegetable kingdom very prosperous. But at the same time, he kind of gave them a lot of a sense of nationalism that and superiority that they kind of wanted to and they can kind of led them to kind of want to dominate other lands and basically fulfill Lord Broccoli's wish which he was basically lying to them saying he was going to fulfill their wish as well but it was more like he wanted to turn every food in the universe into broccoli because he was tired all because he was tired of of all the children saying they were they were hating broccoli and he was wanting to get back at the broccoli haters <laughs> mm, since Broccoli isn't super duper well loved by children at all. Alright, how many gold how many of these do we have? Huh. I feel like it's a little off for some reason. Broccoli is good though, meow. Yeah, um, debatable. I don't- I disagree. Yeah, I don't- I don't agree with that. And we can't really get the ones in Lost Woods and Go Carry Forest until we become an adult anyway. Yeah, I- I- I disagree. I don't like the taste of broccoli at all. Not myself, anyway. Basically- and besides, Lord Broccoli isn't really based on my distaste for broccoli, actually. It's more based on the popular dislike for broccoli that was Kind of common in cartoons and books when I was basically little. Yeah, you know, that was kind of a thing that was around, and I'm not really sure why it was a thing, but it was kind of like that. Plus, there's been plenty of broccoli themed villains. In fact, I'm pretty sure I have a game called Never Awake that basically is like a shooter, and one of the things that's like the nightmare evil thing is, you know, as you know, involves broccoli. <sighs> yeah. I'm not really saying that broccoli is bad. Or anything, I'm just saying that that was that's basically the inspiration for Lord Broccoli. Alright, now we are at the Temple of Time. We are at the Temple of Time. Alright now. Da -de -da -de -da. Oh hey, just look at this. Look at this little gap that's right here. Yeah, I'm not going to try to glitch through that, no. Then I'll have to deal with it as an adult. I don't have to do that. That seems inconvenient. Both of them seem pretty inconvenient to deal with. Especially since I can already do it anyway. Besides, I think the magic- besides, I think this scene is pretty cool. Especially for what comes after. Although, I should show you guys the Master Sword Room before we get to it. Alright, now the magic stone. Alright, the spiritual stones are in. The door of time is down. Right force lit up. Oh. <clears throat> yeah, how did the Hyrulean royal family not know about the Master Sword, by the way? Yeah, it's kind of like it's kind of like Blink to the Past Master Sword. Alright guys, let me show you something real quick. You see how the Master Sword room looks over there? Alright, now watch this. Suddenly it's very different, isn't it? Yeah, that's a very noticeable loading zone. <laughs> that's definitely very noticeable. <laughs> Kinda badly done too. <laughs> There it is, the Master Sword. 
It's that legendary blade. The master sword. Alright, now let's go get the master sword, shall we? Alright, time to time travel. What you know Ocarina of Time is all about. <laughs> By the way, I noticed I got three clips. Who's the guy? Who are the people that clipped me? <laughs> uh oh, Ganondorf. Uh oh, what? <laughs> Excellent work. A what? What do you mean, Ganondorf? As I thought, you held the keys to the door of time. Oh no! What you knew? Of course I knew. Why? I saw you guys staring at the window, plotting against me. You led me to the gates of the sacred realm. <laughs> yes, I owe it all to you, kid. <laughs> no, we played right into the villain's hands. He knew we were. He knew we. We knew what we were up to when we were spying on him. And the, back, back then, and am I wake up? Am I a chosen hero? The chosen hero. I kind of ro royally screwed up the timelines now. Now everything's gonna. Now all the timelines are gonna converge, and you know, Hyrule warriors. Yeah, and then they're gonna have to fight a sexy, you know, a sexy, you know, um, evil spirit that's like half of, you know, a sorceress of that watches over everything that, um, you know, Link has gone through over the years. Yeah, and then she's gonna split into like an evil half and a good half, and the evil half is like super sexy, and the good half, you know, became a kawaii magical girl that uses a book. <laughs> Yeah, that's a real thing, by the way, that happened in Legend of Zelda. <laughs> yeah, Team Ninja was involved. You know, the people who did uh, Dead or Alive? <laughs> by the way, you guys should see Sia. <laughs> Sia is certainly quite a different character. She's like, it, she's, like if it, she's like if Legend of Zelda introduced a Yandere villain. Mana and Sia are both cute. Yeah, sure. Yeah, Lana is super duper cute and she is like, um, you know, super sexy and evil. Yeah. She also uses a whip and also would like, and also I would like Sia to dominate me, or I mean, uh. <laughs> Although Lana is very, very cute, yes. She's like a magical girl like me. Yeah. <laughs> okay, Nima, you're big now. You've grown up. What? <laughs> the Master Sword is a secret blade which evil ones may never touch. Only the one worthy of the title, Hero of Time, can pull it from the pedestal of time. And now we screwed up the timelines, and you know who's responsible for that? Um, Aaron Hansen? <laughs> He's responsible for why the Breath of the Wild timeline happened. <laughs> Not me, though. I actually did really well against Ganondorf. And I never had any problems with him. <laughs> I had more problems dealing with Solfos than I had dealing with him, basically. <laughs> <sighs> he obtained that tri- Basically, Ganondorf obtained a Triforce uh, and with Triforce from the Temple of Light once power became the King of Evil. By the way, we never actually get this Temple of Light, even though it would make a really cool dungeon. It would make a really cool dungeon, but we never got it. If we ever get, like, a Director's Cut of Link's Awakening and it has all the bonus stuff that it has all new features and stuff, sort of like, you know, Link's Awakening kind of got... You know, maybe we could get that. And we could get a modern retelling of, you know, Link to um, you know, Ankering of Time. And hopefully it'll be super good. Of course, people would complain about it because they changed certain texts to, to try and make it make more sense. And they'll be like, it's got censorship, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> yeah, there's always going to be people like that no matter what with it. If it did happen. Yeah, I kind of find it cringy, basically. I kind of find the whole thing cringe, basically. <laughs> Although my favorite censorship is in Baton Kaidos. Yeah, I like the fact that it changed all the alcoholic drinks to things that are totally not alcoholic. Yeah, um, you're there. Yeah, I know it was known as beer like the first game, but now it's like a Yu Gi Oh brand, uh, G Yu Gi Oh GX brand hot sauce. <laughs> it's like sauce that makes you sauced. Yeah, it's that uh, wheat tea that you know is um, faint from fermented wheat that you know um, gets you uh, that gets you all sauced. <laughs> mm. Sauce being code for you know getting drunk on alcohol. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's like code for alcohol without actually saying it's alcohol. <laughs> and I find it super funny. <laughs> 
Looks like you won't be able to use some of the t some of the weapons you found as a kid anymore. Guide the raid, sure. You're well and welcome to guide the raid. Where to? Where to, Mister Mister Static Fox? <laughs> it's it's Sheik. Yeah, Sheik is definitely a mysterious character who we definitely don't know who it is. <laughs> All right now. How are you? I've been waiting for you, Hero of Time. Yes, what do you look like under the mask? Mm. Mm. Alright, now, hold on. Raid Vangolia Prime, alright, I'll set that up. Alright, now, when evil rules over all, and the awakening voice from the sacred realm will call those destined to be sages who dwell in the five temples. One in a deep forest, one in a high mountain, one under a vast lake, one within the house of the dead, and one inside the goddess of the sand. Together with the hero of time, the awakened ones will bind the evil and return the light to peace to the world. This is the legend of, my, that, that of the temples passed down by my people, the Sheikah. Yeah, by the way, who are you and what is your relation to Link and why are you telling me all this? I am Sheik, survivor of the Sheikahs. I've been waiting for you all this time for seven years. <laughs> As I see you standing there holding the mythical Master Sword, you really do look like the legendary hero of time. <laughs> if you believe the legend, you have no choice. You must look for the five temples and awaken the five sages. <laughs> One sage is waiting for you and waiting for the time of awakening in the forest temple. The sage is a girl, I'm sure you know. Because of the evil power in a temple, she cannot hear the awakening call from the sacred realm. Unfortunately, equipped as you currently are, you cannot even enter the temple. But if you believe what I'm saying, you should head to Kakariko Village. Do you understand, Animati? Alright, sure, I guess I will go to head. Alright, sure. By the way, look at the Temple of Time over there. And yeah, the Master Sword Room is definitely even the characters are affected by the weird load by the weird loading glitch. Alright now. I believe I will stop here for today. And let's go raid who Static Fox said to we should raid. Alright now. Let's do it. Right now, Bongolia Prime, huh? Alright, please join me in the raid, and then we'll head off. Thank you for watching, I hope you had plenty of fun. Remember to play games and have fun, okay? Bye-bye now! <sighs> Alright, now come on, Moonbat Raid. Moonbat's Raid. There we go. And I am dressed in my Enderito outfit. <laughs>